Hey guys, I landed in Washington DC from Ghana via Spain on Monday around 10 p.m. And by the time I was out of the airport, it was 11 p.m. I won't lie, I'm so excited to be back in America. From Dallas International Airport in Virginia to my hotel room in Washington DC, it cost about 150 US dollars. The staff was so welcoming and after they directed me to my room, I was so tired. I just ordered some dinner and headed straight to bed. But I had some time to post just one Insta story and this was my dinner. I had some soft beef ribs and mashed potatoes. Oh, this was so good. And it cost me. Good morning, it's Tuesday, 8 a.m. in the morning, and I finally get to see the view of Washington DC from my window. You guys know I arrived late at night, so I couldn't catch this view, and I'm taken aback. It's so beautiful. I love it. I don't know why, but for some reason I woke up feeling extremely hungry. So after taking a shower, I went straight for breakfast. Oh, and it was so scrumptious. I don't even take egg, but I finished all the food, you know, including the egg from the potatoes to the bacon to the bread. Oh my goodness, I'm telling you. And I took it all down with a cup of orange juice. I am now heading back to my hotel room. I just want to give a big thanks to KE International. They always book me the best of everything. Best cars, best rooms, everything, you name it. Now this room, um, I just love it. First of all, the staff are just fantastic. The room is so spacious and clean. I mean, they clean it every single day. They bring fresh towels, fresh sheets. I just love it. And as you can see, it is spacious and the location oof don't even get me started it's a few minutes away from white house i mean what more is there to ask for this is just perfect and the room is about 120 us dollars a night it's cold when you're inside guys uh, let me go get that coat I can't access the Uber app because I misplaced my American line. So KE International called me an Uber to Virginia, um, which cost about $30. Okay, guys, so I finally made it to Target. And unfortunately, I did not get the quotes that I was looking for. However, I found something even better. I found the perfect gift to take to my brothers and my dad and my husband. I found these shirts. They look so good. I love the fact that they come in white and black. Plus, they come in different sizes. I mean, I had to pick a pack for each. So, each cost $16.99 and I picked three. So, the total is oh my gosh guys how cute are these look at this, this is only 20 dollars oh my god this so after not finding a quarter target i was advised to go to macy's so i took another uber and headed back to washington dc the uber cost about i didn't get what i wanted in target so i'm at macy's and um, i can see boots already i think i'm gonna get what I want. i'm looking for here I can see coats. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Guys, look at all the shoes. See, 25% off. Oh, how cute are these shoes? They are so warm. Guys, so I was live on YouTube and I I showed you guys this coat that I was buying. You guys actually chose this coat for me. I think it's so cute. I love it. And guess how much it is? Uh, $201. That's like 22,000 Kenyan shillings for this coat. I know, right? It's crazy, but I think it's so cute. It's so cute. You know, things are so expensive in America. Huh? I'm saying, you know, things are so expensive in America. I don't know if you know that, but my viewers will be so shocked that I bought this coat for that price. They'll be so shocked. How much would it be if you. Like uh, $5. Really? Yeah. 
So you will like, <laughs> guys will go and say, they'll be like, do you mind saying hi on my channel? <laughs> guys will be so shocked, they'll be like 200 and what? They think I'm exact, they won't believe it. I need to show them the receipt. They won't believe it, they'll be like, they'll be like, no, that's a lie, she's exaggerating. It's true, right? $201. Guys, I'm telling you. <laughs> So by the time I'm leaving Macy's, it's already dark and I start walking home. I get lost. Uh, you guys already know the story. To cut the long story short, I eventually get to my hotel around 9 p.m. And this is when I realize I didn't even eat lunch and I am so hungry. Yesterday, I, I ordered some beef ribs and fries. Today, I wanted to order some... I wanted to order some uh chicken wings and fries then i was like you know let me just eat healthy you know let me, let me try something different for for a change <laughs> so this is what it looks like let me show you guys look at the rice americans are crazy they they put really little carbohydrates you know us in africa we eat a, we eat a lot of carbohydrates if it's ugali if it's fufu if it's rice it's gotta be a lot it's the least for them then they put lots of chicken wings lots of vegetables and uh, yeah that's 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 my dinner guys i don't know if i should eat fast or shower i think i'm gonna shower first so i don't want them to get cold i'm gonna close them and pack them for a minute happy wednesday everybody good morning it's another day and i'm so grateful to be alive today i have decided to try something different for breakfast i mean, I just get bored so easily <laughs> i have to be entertained you get so i got myself some yogurt um orange juice i love orange juice okay i love any type of juice in the morning and some hot tea you guys know i'm not a fan of milk but i take it when i must When I checked the bill, it came to a total of $13. And the problem is, I ain't full. No, guys, I still feel so empty. <laughs> so I had to order for pancakes, hoping that pancakes would fill me up. Thank you. My pleasure, young lady. Anything else I can? No, I'm good. So I ordered pancake and yo, they brought like three big ones. I thought it would be like one small one ish. Who's gonna eat all this, you guys? Who's gonna eat all this? So, guys, I'm done with my breakfast and um, this is how much I've spent. As you guys can see, um, I've given a tip of 5%. Um, actually, it's not a tip of 5%. The tip is 25% of the total. Um, so the total cost is $29. This is what uh, I spent for breakfast. At this point, I got back to my room and went online asked for someone to hang out with in dc i just put it out there if anyone is in dc please and you have time <laughs> let's hang out <laughs> um then i edited a video by the time i was done it was lunch time so i decided to go have lunch before i head out so this is what the bar area here at hilton out well why do i say hilton i keep saying hilton here at washington plaza looks like um yeah it's quite huge if you ask me um this guy is hilarious he should be promoted he's so nice and funny at the same time so yeah this is it hello everybody <laughs> i was watch? telling them that you're so nice and you need a promotion like you're funny you're entertaining thank you so much for being kind Thank you. <laughs> We're glad to have you here. Glad to show you around the city. And uh, you've been a great guest in this hotel. We love having you here. Oh, thank you. Our pleasure. Our pleasure. Okay. You're fantastic. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Told you guys. Thank you so much. This looks so good. 
and healthy guys so this is what i ordered caesar salad with some shrimp and pineapple juice um yeah let's eat up and head out have uh so many places to explore today so let's eat up oh, this is so good it is so good but guys um i haven't mentioned that we have um kenyan many kenyan leaders in this hotel i met some yesterday and also today um I, I, when i was taking breakfast guys i was actually seated right next to the governor of nyeri county in kenya and i was shocked i was just having my meal and we had a conversation he seems to be like a really good kind of leader does a lot for his people he spares tuesdays for people in nyeri to just go and talk to him tell them about their problems if you're from nyeri drop a comment nyeri in kenya drop a comment is that true what do you think of your governor and that's why he's been re-elected and it's really interesting to come to places like this because you hang out with the leaders you know and i i, I didn't want to you know take a video or a photo because i didn't want issues with you guys the last time i took a video with <clears throat> the senator of naro guys started issues you know and i'm like god i don't want i don't want drama so i didn't take a video or a photo and right behind me i can see uh leaders of, of parliament in kenya they're sitting talking and i'm like wow okay okay this is where you come when you want to meet your leaders in from kenya so this is very interesting anyway let me finish my salad and head out oh, guys the caesar salad was so good i wanted to show you but you took the plate i ate everything apart from the small bread pieces i feel like they usually hurt my teeth it's not hard hurt but they make my teeth uncomfortable yeah i got sensitive teeth so bottle of water and now i'm good to go let's hit the streets so yeah forgot there is a bill um so let's see how much it is the bill is 27.5 us dollars i'll give the middle 20 percent dollars so um, it's crazy how here they really expect you to give a tip like it's a must right the tip is five dollars so the total will be 32.50 so we got So I went out, I created content and I came back to the hotel about, you know, maybe one and a half hours later. Guys, there she is. <laughs> Hi. Oh my gosh. Thank you for coming through. You. You're so pretty. Thank you so much. And so are you. Thank you. Thank you so much. OMG. Guys, I, I posted on my social media that I'm in Washington DC and if anyone wanted to meet up and she DM'd me and here we are. Please take me, let's explore. Let's explore DC. Let's explore DC. Welcome to DC. Thank you so much. And I hope you're having a great time so far. I am. Are you enjoying it? I really am. Nice to you. Yeah. Okay, welcome to DC. Thank you. You you coming has made it even better. I appreciate your time, you know. You were like, oh yeah, I was the head girl. Then I was like, what? Guys, you wouldn't even believe it. So she's just telling me right now that she we were in the same high school. Yeah. That is so crazy. It's crazy. Oh my I god. Know. So we actually Shaina's girls. Shout yeah, out shout to Shaina's girls, Nakuru. <laughs> If you know the school, yeah. if you're in that school, if you ever attended the school, drop a comment. If you went to Shiners, shout out to everybody <laughs> that went there. I want to Yeah, Shiners are cool, yeah. Wow, that's sure. crazy. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? That's crazy. Who would have thought? Oh my God. <laughs> I think I need to think because I have nothing to say. So let me think. <laughs> and guys, she was the head girl. Yeah, I was okay? the head girl. But I wasn't she was a mean head, head girl. girl. I was the good kind. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, she was the good kind. She was the good leader <laughs> that we all looked up to. When yeah, you see when TRG, so yeah. Yeah, no, she was not. She was the good leader. <laughs> thank and you. And she's still. Oh my God, you're so. And guys, she's so humble. Oh, oh my God. thank you so much.
so this time i did not pay for an uber because my friend had a car so she drove me there we were going to look for iphone 14 <laughs> all the way to maryland so the mission today is to buy an iphone 14 i can't go back to africa without the iphone i've been meaning to buy it for a long time now this is it and i know in africa the price is exaggerated they double triple sometimes even quadruple the price so now that i'm here in the u.s let me take advantage of the fact that i'm here and buy myself an iphone so yesterday i went to an at&t store and apparently they had iphones and i wanted to get the iphone but then they told me um i have to be their client number one i have an at&t sim card so i wanted to replace it so i was like okay i have your sim card but i'm not, i don't live in the u.s i'm just visiting and they're like sorry we can't sell you the iphone because you know they they have to sell they sell it to their clients who pay i don't know for six months i don't know for what I, I, didn't, I didn't get it but in short they just weren't able to sell to me and then yesterday the uber driver who was moving me around told me that his friend was trying to buy an iphone the previous day and the iphones were out of stock nowhere he went to like three stores couldn't get an iphone i'm like god no please i need an iphone so guys um it is so cold outside but thank god for this car the heater is on i feel like we are on a road trip this is so cool finally after driving for like an hour we got to maryland and spotted the iphone store finally Oh, but unfortunately we have to leave the apple store because the iphones are out of stock just to warm ourselves up on our way back we bought some coffee and it cost seven dollars guys we started from here so they should be patient <laughs> i know yeah I got to my hotel room pretty late and because I was feeling adventurous I decided to try something random on the menu and um, when I got to the hotel room <laughs> this is what it looked like but uh, to be fair I ate it and it wasn't that bad no I, I'd give it like a 5 out of 10 they only say there's nothing like Kenyan sausages. I've heard people saying that so many times, especially people in the diaspora. And I totally understand. In Ghana, I can't find nothing like Kenyan sausages. Now I'm in the US. This is just so different. And I won't lie, I miss Kenyan sausages. Oh my god, you guys, you don't get it. In short, what I am saying is that today I took the Plaza special because I realized that yesterday I wasn't full. But I did not enjoy the sausages. I prefer the bacon. Um, but uh, at least now I know, okay? <laughs> and uh, this is what it costs. $23. By the time I add the tip, it's going to cost me about... I was having my breakfast. And then guess who came along? She's a Kenyan who lives in the US. And you've been here for, you said, over 20 years. 20 years. That's a long time. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to say hi. It was nice seeing you. I'm so, so happy for you. Oh, thank you. Doing a great job. Thank you so much. Yeah. You make us proud. And we follow you here in Maryland. You do have a huge following here. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. All right. You made my morning. <laughs> you made my morning too. today it's really raining but this won't stop me i've got to go out and do some shopping so vanessa said she knows the best place to take me i shopped for all my close relatives my husband my dad my brothers my sister-in-law i mean everyone guys okay, so we are done shopping i bought these things in the cart lots of stuff and you won't believe how much they all cost me uh they cost me 403 dollars that's about forty-one thousand kenya shillings it's such a rainy day today guys it's we headed straight to the hotel where we were coming to meet the Kenyan president who is currently in the US. 
And then after that, we sat down with members of the diaspora and had some really good dinner. And uh, the food was so good. Let me tell you, this hotel makes really good food. And I did not pay for dinner this time. Um, yeah. <laughs> Good morning. It's finally Freaky Friday and I'm having the same breakfast. I have just decided that this is the best breakfast to have when you are in Washington Plaza. It fills you up and uh, yep, it costs uh, the usual. My morning was very busy and it turned out to be one of the most incredible days of my life. I met two presidents on the same day. I'm the president of Ghana and the president of Sierra Leone. This was just incredible. In the afternoon, I found some time for myself and I decided to go and buy an iPhone 14 Pro. Which one you want, the 14? Yeah, the 14 Pro. Pro oh. so I'm a content creator, so I need something that's ah, really good. That's why I'm investing in my craft. Oh, uh, but the Pro Max is so big. <laughs> Let me see your hand. I'm just kidding with you. <laughs> Where are you from? It's funny. I'm from Kenya. I'm from Ghana. <gasps> Oh, friend. my husband is Ghanaian. For real? Yeah. He lives in Kenya. So we drove all the way to Virginia, Tyson Square, because that's the only place I was told I could get an iPhone. And I came across the Apple store and I went in. And, uh, well, let's see what happened. I am in now, but then I've been told there's a queue, there's a line, so I have to wait for like 30 minutes. I hope in this time, no one takes my iPhone. I'm even claiming it, it's mine already. Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for. Finally, oh my God. Look at that. Nice, <laughs> there we go. Thank right. you. Of course, I got you guys. So yeah, this is it. Um, so apparently they don't come with a... I just had to open it so that when I when I get to the hotel, I don't want I just want it to be okay, you know. I don't want issues because this place is so far. I don't want to come back, and this is a case. So the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 12 case are not the same. They're not. Nope, they're not. The 14 camera lens is a little bit bigger. So. Okay. So um, can I put my SIM card? Yeah, for sure. Guys, I had to pay for two year, a two year insurance. Uh, so this means that in case anything happens to my phone, my phone can be fixed anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. It covers international now. So if she breaks it, gets ran over, cracked all over, we can get it fixed for you. Any country in Africa, anywhere. In Guys, so the iPhone 14 um, together with the case and the two year insurance cost me about uh total total was about where's the total that is it um 1633 us dollars 0.85 this iphone video it took me two days to get if you want to see the full video of the search of iphone 14 in america just drop a comment and i'll, I'll drop the full video this was just crazy Next, I am going into Sephora. This one is very like nice for oily skin. Okay. Because I've been needing some makeup, I just had to get me some. And uh, if you guys want to see the full video of me picking up Fenty lipstick and all those things, drop a comment and I'll drop it the video for you. Just for you guys because I'm not sure if you guys want to see that. Um, yes, but this was just a cool day. You know, I just took myself out and shopped. And this looks like a little shopping, but uh, let's see how much it costs. The total was one hundred and twenty dollars later on this night um we went out to swahili village a kenyan restaurant in washington dc oh and i'm telling you the food it was so nice to eat ugali after two months <laughs> And uh, I think I should do a separate video for you guys for this. So I'm going to leave it here for now. I didn't pay for dinner. 
I was treated and it was so nice. So yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, in total, I spent about this much this week. But let me give a disclaimer. This is not how much I spend every week. This is only because I came to America and I like to shop a lot when I come to America because I don't do much. I don't treat myself as much when I'm in Africa, you know, so I just spoil myself. Plus, this is a sponsored trip. So KE International helped to pay for my accommodation and transportation. So that's it for you guys who always ask me, Trudy, how much was the accommodation? Trudy, how much was the transportation? Trudy, how much was the iPhone? I hope this video has answered all your questions. I love you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, bye.